It's how to properly sharpen a knife. Now listen to me. There must be, I don't know, 10, 12 different systems out there on the market to sharpen a knife. But as far as I'm concerned, ladies and gentlemen, there's only one way to properly sharpen a knife. I was taught this technique by a longshoreman years and years and years ago. And this old boy cut a lot of rope in his day. He was a cowboy after his longshore days. So, and I've been doing this for an excess of 30 some odd years, 35 years sharpening the same way. Here we go. Right off the get go. I recommend, this is a coarse diamond stone made by Smith's, Smith's Arkansas Stones, you know the language I'm talking about? Well, if you don't, there you go, like that. If you've got a poorly damaged blade, what you want to do is start off with this coarse stone, and then what you'll do, this is probably my most used stone right here, it is a DMT, Diamond Manufacturing Technologies. This is a medium stone. I know I use this stone more and I use all, all these put together. And this is a real fine stone made by DMT. And notice the color coding. This one's red, that one's blue, this one's yellow, and all that. But I got two different companies of stones here. But bottom line, let's get into this. See this right here, ladies and gentlemen? This is just H2O with some a couple drops of Dawn dish soap, or your favorite dish soap in there. That's all there is to it. I got a very cheap camping knife made by Sog here for a demonstration purposes. What you want to do is wet your knife, if you will, and this is the key to it all, right here. Start this old crap of cutting into the stone like this is just that. It's pure crap. You, all, you, you can also get you a cup that's big enough where you can dunk your stone in here like this. The reason why, ladies and gentlemen, that you don't want to go into the stone, coming into the blade like this, is you wear your knife out quicker than what's necessary. But here's the formula. Hold this knife, if you will, on a 20 degree angle. And this is the hard part, because even to this day, I still get that angle screwed up. But you go from tip to rear, tip to rear, just like that. And a lot of times I just do a sec, a couple inches, if you will, of the knife, and then I just kind of work down towards the base. Kind of like spreading peanut butter. Think of it that way. Kind of like spreading peanut butter, ladies and gentlemen. Tip to rear. Tip to rear. You ever seen them old barbers? Uh, you know, the old barber chairs where they had a, a, a strip of leather hanging there? What would happen if they went into that leather? Well, they'd either be cutting their thumb off or cutting their leather strap off or something. But, if you know, of course, these days are long gone. But on the side of the old barber chairs, there used to be a piece of leather hanging down there. And they just go boop, 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 like that. And that, that's what you're doing here. Tip to rear, tip to rear. And you want to keep wetting your knife like this. And like I say, just work on down. And if you got a badly damaged knife, like I say, you start off with a rough stone. Okay, once you get done with your rough stone, you start feeling your edge come in. Then just come over here real quick like this. And... Switch to a medium stone. Like I say, this is a DMT stone right here. Let me even switch knives here. I got a Griptilian. This is my EDC everyday carry. A Benchmade Griptilian. But see how this is going, ladies and gentlemen? Tip to rear. Tip to rear. And you go from the corner of the stone down here up to the other corner. Just like that. And you can also vary the amount of pressure that you're putting down on this blade. Because if you do it this way, what you're doing is you're pulling the metal barbules back like this. And when you go to cut something, it's like whatever material you're cutting, it's like it's running right into a saw edge. Because if you was to put this blade underneath a microscope, scope, ladies and gentlemen, you would see the metal, the metal molecules or barbules of metal, 
going back this way just like this. So what happens when you slice like that? Well, you're, you got yourself a good cutting edge there like that. Okay, now, now that we've worked out on this medium stone, then you, you know, if you want to or whatever have you, I don't use this fine stone very much, but let me switch to another knife here. Here's a Leatherman. But you can switch to your fine stone to get that really polished, honed uh, edge that you're after. And this, ladies and gentlemen, in my humble opinion, is the correct way to sharpen a knife. I know, believe you me, over the years I've sharpened a lot of knives for a lot of guys simply because they tell me, Jim, I don't know how, I can't remember what you taught me. I've heard every excuse in the book. Most of the time it's because they're too lazy. You know, they just want me to do it. Ha, ha, ha. I'm just kidding. You got to laugh a little bit here. Can't take none of this stuff too serious. But it's tip of the knife to the rear of the knife. And you're going away from that blade. None of this business is like if you're trying to slice it, take a edge off that stone or whatever because a lot of these companies when they sell you this stuff they tell you oh just slot you know hold your knife on a 20 degree angle and pretend like you're cutting off the top of the stone and like i say ladies and gentlemen these stones are they've got in, industrial diamonds embedded in here if you will you know, cheap diamonds. <laughs> These things are kind of spendy. They can run up 50, 75 bucks or whatever have you. But that's basically the deal, ladies and gentlemen. Simple as that. You know, you start off with your core stone like this, go to a medium stone, and then make you a few strokes on this fine stone, if you will. But here again, here's the formula. Tip to rear. Tip to rear. Holding the blade on a 20 degree angle. Just like this. Okay, and when you get done with these stones, whatever you do, make sure you, oh, I forgot to say, I always lay down a towel like this because I don't want to ruin my wife's uh, uh, orange crate furniture. That's supposed to be a joke, but make sure, <laughs> make sure you pat these stones dry or they'll rust on you before you put these tops back on here, okay? I air dry them out. And also that soap and the water kind of helps clean the stone as you're going along. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, tip to rear. Tip to rear. I know you're getting sick of me saying that, but you don't carve into the knife or stroke into the knife. Okay, now my next lesson is this guy right here. Let me show you how to sharpen this. I am just joking. This is... This is a this is charade Shabolo. This is a subject for another day. I I've got a different way I sharpen these machete type deals, but that's basically the formula, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you very much for the review.